Hey there, YouTube Pipe community. This is Michelle Baruch coming at you on a fine Friday, almost noon. Uh, nope, actually, I think it just, just hit noon. Uh, hope you're having a great Friday. Uh, my son's asleep, so I thought I'd make a, a video here. And let's talk Brylon. So um, I won, I recently won a cheap, brand new or unsmoked Brylon pipe. One of the Yellow Bull uh, Novas. Um, and of course, you know, some people were happy for me. Some people on, in the Facebook um, pipe communities that I belong to or that I posted to were like, watch out, you're going to need oven mitts, you know. Um, so let me talk about why, why I wanted to experiment with Brylon and a little bit about Brylon and what I was going for. I have a little coffee too. So let's talk about why why I went this way. So I, um, you know, I've mentioned before I don't have a great deal of money. Uh, so I, I was looking at pipes on eBay and I really like some of the vintage Venturi pipes just, just stylishly. Um, I like the, the design, the color, um, and most of those are, are made out of Brylon it looks like. So, um, I haven't been able to win one of those for less than $10, which is kind of my, my ceiling for this kind of thing. Um, but I did see this, this bad boy here, this Yellow Bowl Nova Rylon pipe. Um, I initially, you know, had like a bid for like $5.50, um, and, and I put my max bid at 9 I think. So, I thought okay, you know, I really like my corn cob. And one of the reasons why I like my corn cob is unlike the briars, I, uh, I don't have to give it a resting period. Also, I don't have to, um, it doesn't build up cake uh, like, a, like a briar pipe does. So that's both good and bad. But the good thing there is um, I don't, you know, with all the, the new tobaccos I'm trying all the time, I didn't have to worry about ghosting or one tobacco affecting, you know, the next one, especially several smokes down the line, like like when you've got a good cake built up in your briar. So I've heard. I'm still still in the process of building some cake up in the two briars that I have. Um, so I wanted another versatile pipe, like my corn cob, but something a little more um, stylish. Something that like the corn cob is is inelegant at best. Uh, it's a great utilitarian pipe. I really love my cob. I'm probably going to get a couple more. But this, I know I, because it's Brylon, it's cheap. Because it's Brylon, it's durable, so it can bang around, you know, traveling. I can take it places and not worry about it. As you can see, it's a good smoker. Um, so, one of the things that people warned me about and that I looked up, I actually have notes for once, check it out. Um, the, the three main complaints, it's heavier than a briar, it gets hotter than a briar, and it's not a briar. Those are like the three things that the internet seems to tell me are the, the downfalls of a Brylon pipe. So let's see. Brylon uh, apparently was invented by the, in the 60s by a man named S.M. Frank who had something to do with K. Woody, Yellow Bowl, uh, Medico. Those are all brands that are still in production. Um, and it's a combination of briar and nylon. So it's, or at least in the name, uh, it's sawdust or wood flour. The internet keeps telling me that's a weird word. And uh, nylon or polymer, high, high temperature polymer. Okay. Finally went out. I am smoking the, I'm still smoking the vintage Syrian, by the way. I've been smoking that all week. I've smoked that in my, um, my Graybo briar. I've smoked that in my King's Cross briar. Um, and so I wanted to see what it was like to smoke it in my Brylon. Uh, and I have to say, I love it. Um, now I think I'm going to keep at least one of those briar pipes dedicated to Balkans and Englishes for cake purposes. Um, 
and uh, this this will let me be able to smoke other things and still keep my my flavor in my favorite pipes um, you know going and and uh, uh, unadulterated there you go um, so obviously at nine dollars for a, a new pipe I would be happy to have several of these just just to be able to try stuff out all the time. You've seen me try try new tobaccos out pretty rapidly. Um, I just posted to my Facebook groups a picture of my reorganized tobacco hutch. Um, I've taken out all of the, the two cigar humidors and most of the cigar supplies um, and relocated those to a less convenient location, not like an inconvenient location, but my tobacco hutch is in a really convenient grab spot there. Uh, so I reorganized my tobaccos and it's just pipe tobaccos and my pipes and so forth. Uh, and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So my first video, my first pipe that I smoked ever, uh, and my first YouTube video was one month and one day ago. And, uh, it's grown nicely. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to slow down. You know, it's gonna take me a while. That's why I've been trying to spend pretty much the whole week just with this one tobacco of the vintage Syrian. And I have to say, it's a little little different every time I do it, both the way I pack it, because I'm doing it in different pipes. Um, but I've really appreciated just kind of living with the one tobacco for the week. Um, I do think I'll post, hopefully sometime, you know, maybe Sunday, uh, another video trying one of the other tobaccos out um, but we'll see we'll see how I feel we'll see what time I have uh, maybe maybe on Monday if not during the weekend so um, that's what I have to say about Brylon for the most part I gotta say I give it I give it a B plus I'm very happy with it the um, the return on investment I think is excellent I don't actually think at least not with the speed that I smoke. I don't think it does get hotter than a briar, but for me, it didn't get super, super, super hot like people were saying. Um, I know we all smoke at different speeds. People have uh, different cadences. Um, and I gotta say, if you're a fast smoker, this would not be a good, good pipe for you. But for me, so far at least, um, I love it. This is uh, day two of smoking with it. Um, and I think it's a great pipe. Anyway, uh, if you have any, any comments, go ahead and leave them below. Um, also, I have, uh, I have three more tobaccos to try, but if there's anything you want to see me try, or that you think, watching my other videos, that I would like, let me know. Give me suggestions. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Uh, happy Friday. Shabbat Shalom. Be well. Zygazunt.